it's my white shirt moment, which I love. I'm going to show many ways of wearing the white uh, shirt. It's fun to be back. We stepped out for a couple seasons, did a movie, tried some other things, but I don't know, there's nothing like a fashion show, you know? I don't know, I wanted, you know, today at the plaza, take everyone away from what's happening and just be in a dream, be in a beautiful place, see the craft, see, see what we've created. Today for Carolina Herrera, we're doing very sleek hair, very clean, shiny, we're doing a very low part. Uh, it's between Twiggy and Mid Newton, like soft, chic, elegant. Et voila! I like love her stuff. I'm like active on Instagram every day, like I heart all of her photos. Um, and also like, to me like, Carolina Herrera is like the epitome of like classic style. Um, so I'm super excited to be here and see it in person today. Let's say that it's, it has a calm elegance, uncomplicated silhouettes. It's my white shirt moment, which I love. So I have, I'm going to show many ways of wearing the white uh, shirt. It might be my favorite Carolina Herrera show ever because she did something that I've wanted her to do always. She put her heart and soul in the opening of the show with a white shirt and it's iconic. She is the most chic, truly stunning woman that's in the industry and sometimes I don't always feel like I see her on the runway and this show I saw her in all of those clothes and all of those white shirts had opened just like broke my heart because they were so beautiful and I, I could see a woman and a girl of any age wearing them. In this collection I'm trying to show different takes on the white blouse and the white shirt because I think you know it's so easy to, to wear a white shirt you can dress it up or dress it down I think it's very flattering and on top of that it's very snappy no yes you know that it's always like there is sort of seductiveness around that for me it's like my security blanket so I'm delighted that I came out with this idea of using it <laughs> not only on me elegant sophisticated, soft, fluid, romantic. It took me a little bit back in time. It was so elegant and so, yet so easy. You know, it was like the effortless elegance and the, the button down shirts at the beginning, I'm like, Ugh, gotta have all of them. You know, they're just so beautiful and unique, yet classic, timeless. You know, that's something you wanna have in your closet forever and you can dress it down, you can dress it up. So it's a very versatile piece of clothing to have. I want the women that wear House of Herrera, the, the essence of the House of Herrera, is the women who look effortless. I don't want anything complicated. So you're going to see a collection that with uncomplicated silhouettes. I think it's nice because there's a lot of options in how she designs her pieces that any woman of any like shape, comfort, style, like. There's a way to wear her clothes and feel totally empowered and totally gorgeous, which I think is really amazing. I thought it was amazing, so beautiful. All the things I like to see together, velvet, lace, a little polka dot, bows, it was perfect. The show just grew and grew to be bigger and better. The fluidity, the lace, the bows at the neck, but all grounded in a flat shoe or a boot that gave a little bit of kind of a, a funny, pretty punk attitude, which we're seeing all over New York. I, I thought the show was truly, truly beautiful, and I, that's what I want to see in New York. I just want beautiful clothes that will make women's heart pitter patter like it did to me when I was in the front row. <laughs> Carolina Herrera has been one of my idols, mentors, friends, 
inspirations for as long as I can remember, honestly, since the day I started in fashion. And I think what's amazing about her is her timelessness and the fact that, you know, today she's as relevant and on top of her game as she's ever been. And um, she's a role model, I think, for women all around. And, and ridiculously elegant. I mean, it's just she's the epitome of grace and style, you know? Well, first of all, when uh, we speak of Mrs. Herrera, Mrs. Herrera, I think she is possibly the chicest person on the planet Earth. And the aesthetic that she's created is just so timeless and, and, and amazing. She does it so well, and, it's, and I hate to use the word effortless, because I use, I think everyone uses the word effortless, but it, it feels effortless with her. And just so charming and, and kind of soulful. And I think it's very evident on the runway when, when you see the girls come out and she does day wear very well, and she does evening wear very well. And you know, I'm a gay, so I'm a sucker for a big gown. So I hope to see a few big gowns at the end. I'm a very big fan of Carolina Herrera. Um, first of all, I think that there's that like Latin girl pride, but um, on top of that, she dressed me for the Tonys. She dresses me for all of the big events. It's always like a go-to. She's so flawless and chic, and it's kind of like effortlessly ladylike, you know? I tell you, effortless, but in a way, not that the clothes are so simple. They have to have an important details. One evening gown in a very uncomplicated silhouette, but with an extravagant detail, takes you very long way. <laughs> I mean, she's known in New York for the being one of the designers that makes the most beautiful dresses. And especially when I come to Carolina Herrera, I love to see the evening wear. I think she has a connection with a lot of amazing celebrities. And, and when we see this collection, we'll expect to see these things on red carpets at super amazing events coming up all season long. But I think when I think of Carolina, I think of that. I think of power, how powerful, successful women that are in the public eye that want to look amazing. And, and she dresses all those ladies. So. You know, Mrs. Herrera uh, is one of my mentors. Like after the, I was one of the women for the Vogue CFDA Fashion Fund, and you know what I've really understood is her conviction about being true to herself. She's straight true to her belief about making women look beautiful, and, and I love that about her. And an apologetic adoration for women. But what is happening right now is there's this new energy in her, and you know whether it's a team or not, it doesn't matter. It's, it's in her. And I, and I love that. And if I just wish people got to know her personally, she's the funniest person and the wittiest person alive, you know. And so, um, and I think that's all coming out now. And so I'm so happy that the world is getting to see it. So the look today is elegant, graceful beauty. They look like they've just gone for a walk in a frozen forest with flush pink cheeks and sparkly eyes, but then the lips are like velvet slippers, like fabric. Yeah, it's a beautiful burgundy lip. Yes, Lauren Bacall brows, and it's, it's a very elegant look because they're very elegant. And I was probably more inspired by their kindness and loveliness on the test than anything else. And that's what I want the girls to look, just radiant and gorgeous and happy people. Positive, it's a very positive collection. Well, they bought the line back, so it's theirs. So what they've introduced, they've introduced a home line and a sportswear line. So what we've done is we've, they've got a couple of sportswear girls, 12, that are gonna be lounging around on the furniture, around the furniture down the center of the catwalk. Those girls are gonna be a little bit more downplayed in terms of aesthetic than the others. The 22 girls walking the catwalk will be real va boom We're kind of going for old school setting techniques but blow drying the sets out. We're using Redken 07 mousse, number 12 spray to kind of set the hair, 
on a one and a quarter curling iron, inch curling iron. We're blow drying over that, lots of volume. And then we're using a tint brush to paint gel onto the roots for the 22. So really getting like old school volume out of it and blow drying over the set so that you're not getting that kind of LA ringlet thing. The way we kind of sold it to them was the girls down the center were a little bit more casual, were more Melrose and the others were a bit more Ro Rodea Drive. It's fun to be back. We stepped out for a couple seasons, did a movie, tried some other things, but I don't know, there's nothing like a fashion show, you know, it creates a certain amount of excitement and, and enthusiasm, especially for us when we see 40 models all dressed, you know, lined up in our clothes, it's a high. Yeah, we do have a lot, a lot going on. You know, we bought our company back about a year ago and this is like our first time back on the runway since we bought our company back. James was commenting earlier, it's the funny times, you know, in a way we feel like we're in between wars and a woman's life has become so practical, almost out of necessity. And so we unapologetically love to do gorgeous evening clothes and she puts something on and she feels beautiful and she looks beautiful and why not and, you know, indulge yourself and enjoy those moments. I know I remember that as a child when my grandmother and my mother and aunts would dress up. There's something about that that makes you feel good and it's a, it's a very warm memory, and that's, those are the kind of clothes we like to make. They're on a roll as well, Badgley Mishka. I mean, just one beautiful dress and gown after another yesterday, and you just kind of want to just run after them on the runway because and touch the fabrics and feel it and be close to it because it was so elegant and well well styled and the models all looked beautiful. Have a lot of new initiatives, two of which are on the runway today, one of which is Bachelor Mishka Home, the other of which is Bachelor Mishka Sportswear. So it's taking Bachelor Mishka glamour, elegance, you know, old Hollywood feeling and translating it to an environment and to things you can wear every single day. 365, 24-7. It's sort of the core of what we stand for. We love clothes to have a slight sort of heirloom quality to them. And still it's our quest to always keep things modern, but we're opening up with about a dozen sportswear girls. Super casual, but casual elegance. There's even a thread of glamour like through our track suit and through a pair of, you know, stretch, you know, cotton skinnies. The home and the sportswear both have that same kind of elegant sensibility, that timeless, classic, but very modern at the same time. They're really one of my favorite shows during New York Fashion Week. They always have been, but this time they were on a roll. Now the fabrications are, you know, we went again very old school, very old world, but modern at the same time. A lot of wonderful like double velvets, chantilly laces, re-embroidered organzas and tools and satins. Everything's treated and worked in some way so it's not just a simple outfit. It may appear simple on the surface, but when you delve in there it's not simple at all. We love lavish embroideries. That's sort of our signature. We have some of the prettiest beading I think that we've ever done before. Beautiful works in black diamond and mother, you know, mother of pearl. And it's just we want to, we like it when it's a feast to the eye for, for our customer, you know, when she walks in and she's dazzled. If we use a crepe, we love to use a, a bonded crepe that's, you know, four ply, so it's like ultra couture and luxurious. Our chiffons are are all hand washed so there's a certain crepiness to them and they look like they've been up in the attic for you know a couple decades and our outerwear is all weightless it has the look that you know it's a warm coat but no woman wants to trudge down the street in a 40 pound coat anymore you know so everything is, is our services are poor right yeah <laughs> so everything's cozy but you know is very inviting I think the overarching message for Badge and Mishka is really, you know, we are old Hollywood, we are glamour, we are important clothes, and I think that that's really empowers women and they should feel strong wearing our clothes. I think that they do, and that's really important for us to make them feel that way. Yeah, I don't think a designer has to be everything to everybody. You know, we sort of pick our niche and, 
and try to really own that and really stand behind what we do. We don't flip flop from what we do season to season. And I think that's what our customer likes us for. She knows that she can count on us for a certain kind of thing. And, and where we get the excitement is that we bring that aesthetic through various categories of products, home, shoes, fragrance, you know, that, that's, that's how we sort of expand our, or flex our muscles is, is, is doing what we do, but doing it across the board. She's a Victorian goth that's walking in the Valley of Fire. Now, the Valley of Fire is, is Christian's inspiration. It's a valley that's got it's really rich, earthy colours, so that's why we're kind of using these copper colours. But I wanted, he, he has a slight Victorian feel about his clothes as well, and I just wanted to have a girl that was slightly, a little bit twisted in the head, and I think we've kind of <laughs> got that with this. Skin we're keeping really clean, and then just a really natural lip, so the focus really is on the eye and glitter. I love glitter. I always think about hair being a fabric, right? So I always like to hear what his inspiration was for the fabric. And his inspiration for the fabric was the, what the elements do to like rocks, or what the elements do to the sand, right? The wind blows it, it gets those ripples in it. On the overall, what his inspiration was with little hints of Victorian and little hints of Renaissance, I decided to do a braid. But to modernize it, I used a fishtail braid. You know how people are starting to use embellishments in the hair? I wanted to use an embellishment that was also natural, so I used this flexible copper. And we put this in randomly through and we pressed it. It actually helps you to direct the braid forward rather than the braid sit to the side. And then we um, finished it by taking out zero gra uh, gravity hairspray and then opening up the braid to give it this really more weathered kind of feel of a look. The look today, we're recreating the, the look of kind of wave across desert sand because he had this really great desert inspiration and we chose colors that were directly from the collection. We have four gorgeous shades. We start off with two coats of carry-on, which is a dusty plum, and then we do a wave across the nail with two shades. First is Leggy Legend. This is my favorite color in, every, in Essie. I was so thrilled to use it. And then we followed it with a splash of grenadine, which is this great putty pink lavender. And then I wanted to add a touch of glamour, so we added this really beautiful soft pink glitter that I just dabbed in certain areas of the nail just so it catch the light as they walk the runway. So originally jumping our point was the Valley of Fire National State Park, but I think the idea there was that I just felt like when I was there, I was really like in this dream world, driving through, it just was unbelievable and I think the idea was I don't know I wanted you know today at the plaza take everyone away from what's happening and just be in a dream be in a beautiful place see the craft see see what we created you know yeah and I think the whole color palette was really inspired by being there the textiles the fabrics we're using yeah so that was kind of the idea We have everything. We have everything from really, you know, luxe cashmere, beautiful embroidery, a lot of silk, a lot of velvet. A, a lot of the stones are this really, really deep kind of clay color. So you'll see that throughout the collection. That was very important. The color palette, I think, was very inspired by just being in that place. And I think we'll see, uh, yeah, but it's a range. Christian is really a designer designer and I've always been very proud to see what he does every year. He's really proven himself to be a, a true designer uh, and a real lover of women. Uh, I, I think how he's 
speaks out for women, what he's done with Lane Bryan and the Plus Women's Collection. He understands that and, and he, he, he sparkles. He's a sparkly designer. Well, Siriano is always one of my favorite designers. He's also a friend. I think that his inclusivity around bodies and genders and presentations are vital, and so I, I'm here to support his work. Well, Christian is a very good friend of ours. He's like our our. Our brother, my husband and I, and this one here, Brad, um, and it's just exciting to always come to his show and to, to watch him do amazing things. And last year, he kind of broke the records of such a diverse runway, and then we're here again, and we will be seeing many of the same sort of things, but of course, great design. I love Christian and when he asked me to wear one of his dresses, I couldn't say no. I love that, you know, they're out there and they're elegant and they just make you feel like a beautiful, gorgeous woman. The way they hug my body, that's like my most selfish, <laughs> my most selfish love of his designs. And I just think he's also really thoughtful about the way in which he designs his clothes for all kinds of women's bodies. You know, I think it definitely is for an event of some sort. I think, you know, that here at the Plaza Hotel is like the most glamorous event I've been to thus far in New York Fashion Week, so I'm excited to be in a Christian Siriano gown. I mean, I just came from a whirlwind a trip of, of work, and I was wearing Christian day, night, all the time. And I think that it's always about just looking glamorous, so why can't you be glamorous all day long? I think what's great today is you're really going to see a lot of diversity on the runway not only in size but you know people from around the world different cultures different women and I think that that is one of those things that I love to show so I think there is something for everybody in this collection I really do